hi guys welcome to the session in this session we are going to see how to set a metric bit we would see the important configuration files and we would use metric bit version 6.8 we would also see a small demo where metric bit would collect the system data so this is system would here metric bit would be running so the metric bit would collect the cpu stats cpu related metrics and it would send those cpu related metrics to the console of metric bit so this is metric bit console so basically those metrics would be sent to the console in the form of events so this is small demo we are going to see so let's begin our session first we need to download the metric beat software to download the software you need to visit this link when you will open this link you will be on the download page and where by default the latest version is selected when you will click here it will download the software for you and that would be this version vita version 8.9 if you want to choose that stable one you can use this suppose you want to download any previous version of the metric beat for that you will have to click on this link view pass releases once you click on the link you would have the option to choose the version so from the drop down we can choose the needed version for the demo i am using 6.8.1 here you can see the 6.8.1 once you select the version you can click on the download here you will have to click on the link based on your system configuration if you are using the windows 64 bits architecture then you can click on this link so just click on this click on save we have downloaded the software now we can unzip that here you can see the downloaded version this 6.8.1 so i have already unzipped you can see this once you go inside that folder 6.8.1 you will see the structure like this data kivana logs modules and some configuration files now you need to launch this path in the command prompt we will see which all modules are present in the metric beat so for that we have a command metric beat modules the list this will display all the modules present in the metric beat we have a two part here enabled and the disabled so module called system is already enabled and these all modules are disabled in my previous video on the basic of metric beat i already explained to use particular module first you will have to enable that and for that we have a command command is metric beat modules enable and name of the module so you can copy the name of module from here and paste and you can see enabled log test so this particular module enabled now if you again run that command to list down the modules you will see log test is present under enabled module yeah you can see here so we have a two modules enabled as per your requirement you can enable more module if you don't need particular module then you can disable that module so to disable you need to run the command called metric beat modules disable and the name of the module that is log stress and enter so the module disabled if you launch that command again you will see only one module is enabled that is system for this demo we are using module system and the system module is used to collect the system metrics what is system metrics the cpu uses memory uses this i already explained in my first video on basic of metric bit for the demo we will use system module to collect the system metrics and we will send that metrics data to the console let's move further every module have own configuration files like system it is having own configuration file called system.yml yml 
here it is present we are in the metric bit folder and you can see modules dot d so you need to click on it this folder contains all the configuration file related to module here you can see arrow spike dot yaml dot disabled so this is showing that this module is disabled let's check our module called system here you can see there is nothing present disabled means this module is enabled extension is dot yaml you can open this configuration file in the notepad plus plus as per your requirement which module you are using you will have to add it corresponding configuration file of that module i will come back on this configuration file later let's move on to other thing first now let's see the metric label configuration file called metric beat dot yaml this you can copy this and you can paste here and you can rename this as test so basically we would not modify the original one so we will use this test and click on this edit with notepad plus plus here we will do few modification first modification would be output output of the metric beat means where the metric beat would send the data so let's see how many output supported by metric beat you can open this link and you can see all the supported output elastic search service elastic search log test kafka redis file system and console so on these outputs the metric beat can send the data this is the documentation for the 8.8 .8 version metric beat we are using the 6.8.1 so we can check the documentation of 6.8.1 there are few output which are supported in all the versions like console in this demo we are going to use the console you need to go to this section called outputs we need to copy this and you can add this add here one output you can see so that is disabled starting with has what is use of 50 it will format the output and then display on the console so with this configuration metric bit would send the metric collected metric of the system to this console in future videos we will see this output also log test so for now i am commenting out for this demo we are not going to change any other parameter of the this yaml file one thing you need to keep in mind is at a time only one output can be enabled so this i already highlighted in my previous video also so you can see there is no other output enabled this is the output section widget the system.yaml so this is the configuration file for our module called system so here you can see the module name system period is 60 second means every 60 second the metric beat would collect the system matrix and this is a metric set so what is metric set i already i already explained in my previous video and here these are the all supported metric set for this module system so the cpu load memory network process these are and the cpu is one of the metric set if we enable this metric set the metric bead would collect the metrics related to cpu cpu uses time the inactive active time so for now we have enabled the cpu metric set only as per your requirement you can enable other metric set also if you enable the memory it will give you the memory details occupied ram the remaining ram these are the configuration file needed for the metric bit setup metric bit would collect the system metric which metric it would collect the cpu metric because we have enabled the cpu metric and the metric bead would send the cpu matrix to the output called console this is the flow of the demo as per your requirement you can change the output you can send it to the elastic search you can send it send it to the log test that we would see in the future videos now let's start our metric bit and see if metric bit is collecting the system metric called cpu and sending it to the output now let's start our file bit 
since all the configurations are done just to highlight i have updated the name of metric beat configuration file i have used the underscore instead of hyphen so in this path you need to launch the cmd and run the start command so the start command is metric beat minus e minus c c for configuration and here you need to give the configuration file name as enter metric beat is started you can see and it has captured the matrix and it has sent the matrix in the form of events to the console so all our configuration is working fine now let's talk about these events let me first stop the metric beat then i would copy these events so the metric beat is stopped now let me copy all these events and see what all details present in the event i have copied the events from console and it contains multiple events this is one event this is second event this is third event so multiple events are present now let's see which all details present in the event first thing you need to check in the event is the metric set means for which metric set this event generated so in the metric set you have a name which contains the metric set name so here is the cpu means this event generated for metric set cpu means it would contains the cpu related stats or cpu related data the ideal time cpu uses all these details and other details present is the time is time metadata the event the data set is system.cpu and this is the section which contains actual details of the matrix matrix set name under this under this you will find all the matrix of the cpu which would give you the idea how your cpu is behaving for how much time your cpu was active how much time cpu is spent in the io weight how many cores cpu is having all these details so it contains the collection of matrix cpu related matrix this is one of the matrix io weight irq is one of the matrix nice is one of the matrix soft irq is one of the matrix cores is one of the matrix system is one of the metric ideal is one of the metrics so it contains the multiple metric metrics of cpu to understand the metric you should know this these are the code actually what is the meaning of this io weight some names are some code are self-explanatory and some are not clear so for that you will have to check the documentation like nice irq soft irq total system let's see the official documentation to understand the meaning of all these metrics i would put this link in the description of the video so here you need to go to the exported fields you need to go to system fields so this contains fields of each metric set so as we discussed system module having different metric set cpu memory load socket summary all these metric set so this page contains field definition of each metric set we have used the cpu metric set so let's go to the cpu section what is the definition number of cpu cores present on the host machine this is the field cores and it is showing eight it is number of course present in my cpu user means percentage of cpu time is spent in user space so it is showing at the moment zero this is the first event of cpu collected by metric bit so details might not be accurate in the next cpu event the details would be more accurate next is system percentage of cpu time is spent in the kernel space the system this is how you can check the documentation and you can understand these metrics one thing you might have noticed that in the system.aml we have enabled only cpu metric set so ideally the metric beat should have generated the cpu related metric set 
but if you see the console you will find that there are other metric set which are present in the console so in the first event the metric set is cpu means this is a cpu metric set data or event in the second it is memory so this is memory metric set data or event in the third it is also memory in the fourth it is this is fourth event and in the fourth it is socket summary so this is the event of socket summary metric set then i checked why these are generated because there are other configuration present and which is why the metric bit generated the more event for as per these configuration for our demo we can remove these configurations and we can save it now metric bit should generate only single event for the cpu metric set let's see so i have stopped the metric bit and i am going to restart since we have changed the configuration file system.yaml so this is the command to start i am going to press enter let's wait for the metric b to be up and running yeah so metric bit is up and running and it has generated one event this time it has generated only single event because we have removed the other configuration from system.yaml file so you can see only single event present let's wait for next event so the next event would be generated after 60 seconds as per the configuration in next event we will see there are some values present yeah you can see next event we have got now you can see there are some values present in user metric in system in in course it was already there ideal time irq0 the total so if you want you can also remove the extra configuration present here in this file system.yaml else you can continue with that configuration not a problem now it should be clear how to follow the documentation how to understand particular event we have covered the agenda the basic metric bit setup the small this small demo in the upcoming videos we would see how to visualize these events or these metrics in the kibana that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video